I'm Nathan Heck, Chief Justice of the Texas Supreme Court. Welcome to the legal profession. Law school has equipped you with one thing you'll need, a basic understanding of the law, its history, development, substance, methods, and repositories. Remember your first day of law school, how strange and new the concepts were? By now, many have become quite familiar. Your law school education has provided you a foundation on which you can continue to build the knowledge and expertise you'll need in your practice. When asked, what is the law, you'll know the answer or you'll know how to find it. But law school has barely introduced you to the practice of law, not what the law is, but how you do it. You know the law in your client's situation backwards and forwards. But what's the best way to present it to the court? How best to persuade? Or in a transaction, how to negotiate for your client? How to deal with an adversary or a partner? How do you square law business, turning a profit like any other business person, with being a lawyer, a professional? What does the profession expect of you, the public? What are your obligations to them? How do you meet them? Do you become active in the bar, in public service, in pro bono work? How do you balance a personal life with your professional life? The practice of law is best learned not from books or in class, but from experience. And yet, experience can be a hard teacher. Fast-paced social, economic, and technological changes are profoundly affecting the legal profession and new law school graduates in particular. Lawyers beginning their careers face unprecedented challenges. With much at stake, let me give you advice my father gave me. It's a wise man who learns from his own mistakes, but it's a wiser man yet who lets the snake bite the other fellow. What I mean is this. Find someone who's further down the road, a mentor who can give you the benefit of that experience. A mentor can be a practical counselor, a sounding board, a devil's advocate, and a role model. In a mentor, you don't just hear how to practice law, you see it. You see how our profession's core values of honesty, integrity, and civility are exhibited, not just in the abstract, but in real life. A mentor can help you see examples of what works and what doesn't, things to emulate, maybe to avoid, and to improve on. When I was in law school, I was assigned a mentor, a very established lawyer who, if he hadn't seen it all, had seen a lot. I learned practical things from him, such as visiting an unfamiliar courtroom beforehand, getting to know court personnel, handling difficult situations. I learned professional things that while the public can be critical of lawyers, they need legal help and lawyers must try to meet that need. That in a sense, the public is a kind of client, that every handling of a case or a deal goes a little way toward defining the profession so that the welfare of the profession is important in everything a lawyer does. I started practice when senior partners had time to mentor and enjoyed it. One lawyer I worked with did everything by the rules. Another did everything by agreement. Working with each, I could see what style worked best for me. A mentor can even be someone at a distance, someone remembered. I greatly admired the judge I clerked for, Roger Robb and a judge I had the good fortune to practice before, Hal Woodward. Watching them, even at a respectful distance, I thought to myself, if I get there, that's how I want to do it. And when I did get there and face difficult decisions, I would ask myself, how would Judge Rob handle this? What would Judge Woodward do? Asking, what would X do in this situation? is a tried and true method of navigating rough sailing. I won't embarrass my mentors who are still alive by calling names, but I will say I've been blessed with many. 
So find a mentor. It's so important. The State Bar of Texas has created a number of valuable resources to help you. Most metropolitan bar associations operate mentoring programs you can join. If there isn't one near you, encourage your local bar to start one using the State Bar Transition to Practice program, which can be accessed on the website shown below. I recently visited a small city in another state where local lawyers got together to mentor new lawyers on pro bono work to make it easier for them to, as it were, stick a toe in the water. While these programs are good, the best mentors are often the ones you seek out and find on your own. Ask a lawyer you admire to coffee or lunch. Say you want counsel on being a good lawyer. Most lawyers are very willing to share their experiences and asking someone for advice is high praise. While nothing substitutes for a mentor, the State Bar of Texas Professionalism Committee has put together some great online resources, all accessible at the website shown below. The Texas Young Lawyers Association has produced Office in a Flash and numerous 10-minute mentor videos that provide practical advice and information on issues frequently faced by newer lawyers. And the State Bar of Texas leadership has started a mentoring database. All of these online resources are available to you for free 24 hours a day. Maybe a lawyer's most valuable written mentor is the Texas Lawyer's Creed. Have you read it? You really should. I was on the Supreme Court of Texas 25 years ago when we adopted it, and I can tell you that our hope then was that its broad principles of professionalism and detailed advice on handling common problems would be a beacon for Texas lawyers for years. That hope has been fulfilled. Just two years ago, the Texas Supreme Court and the Court of Criminal Appeals readopted the creed, reaffirming its values. It still serves us well. You've entered a noble profession, vitally important to society's welfare, to the protection of freedom, and to the service of a rule of law that is the envy of the world. The practice of law is a high calling, one that you are now part of. Congratulations and welcome.